In this module, we will create an access group, configure role permissions, and add a user to NCentral. There are three components to user management in NCentral. Access groups, roles, and users. Access groups define the customers or devices a user can access. An access group can be as broad as the entire service organization, or as narrow as a single site. As another example, an access group can include all managed devices, or be limited to a single device class, such as servers or mobile devices. Roles offer a granular set of NCentral access permissions in six categories. Administration Cloud Commander Configuration Devices Reporting And Tickets and Notifications Each category includes specific sets of permissions that include None, which hides the function from the user read only to allow the user to view the function and manage to enable the user to view and make changes in the configuration of NCentral. There are four default roles. Administrator for full access to all NCentral capabilities. Technician to access most device management functions. Dashboard for read only access to dashboards and service details and remote control to view all devices and launch remote control. Default roles cannot be edited but may be cloned and modified. Users must have at least one access group and role and may be assigned to multiple groups and roles. Because NCentral permissions are hierarchical, NCentral grants the user the highest permission when they are accessing functions. As an example, if a user belongs to the default all customers access group and to a customer specific access group, the user will be able to access information for all customers. To limit the user's access, remove them from the all customers access group. Administrators can perform the following user management actions. Create or delete a user. Enable or disable a user. Lock or unlock an account. Reset passwords. Reset, enable, or disable 2FA and MFA. Manage single sign-on access. And export user lists. An API-only user is a custom role that only has access to the Enable and Central Public APIs, and not the user interface. An API-only user role may have different access levels depending on the associated task. As an example, one API-only user may query customer IDs and registration tokens, and another may require permissions for managing the PSA integration account.